Hi everyone and welcome to the third episode of our Malta Squad series on the four set bikes that have been presented on the island Malta in 1979. Today we will show you my good old friend Shafty, the Kawasaki Z1000 ST. With this model, Kawasaki entered the market for touring motorcycles. The abbreviation ST in its name actually stands for shaft transmission. Before we take it for a ride, let's listen how the ST sounds. When it was introduced in 1979, Kawasaki advertised the Z1000 ST as quote, the super athletic touring machine and stated that quote, a shaft drive can be sporty too. The German magazine Automotorsport titled Long Distance Transport four-cylinder shaft drive machine with touring character. Due to the performance of the ST, the journalist closed his article with the following quote. Therefore, the conclusion remains that the Z1000 ST, despite its tour-friendly carbon drive, is better suited for speeding than for traveling. In the United Kingdom, Official marketing material distributed in 1979 stated, quote, The legendary Z1000 is born again, with more power, more style, more refinement and better than ever with a shaft drive system. One section promoted the ST as follows, quote, According to Motorcycle Mechanics, January 1979, Kawasaki has produced the smoothest and most effective shaft drive system yet. What's more, the newly upgraded Z1 engine makes it one of the fastest in its class and the all new frame gives handling to match. It's also got new brakes and center pads for sure footed stopping whatever the weather. Quite simply, Kawasaki has produced what many people consider the best shaft machine ever. The UK brochure in 1980 stated that quote, you can never get too much of a good thing. Kawasaki's good old Z1 in 1972 blew the competition into the weeds with its amazing blend of high performance and reliability. It set a whole new standard for superbikes. Every year Kawasaki worked to improve it in many subtle ways. A natural process of engineering evolution. And the big set always got better, never older. This year it's been born again. With so many new features, you should think of it as a brand new machine with a fabulous history. Introducing the Z1000 ST, an old friend with a new shaft drive. Just about the only thing you'll recognize about the Z1000 ST, which you may remember from its previous lives, is its remarkable engine. This tried and true powerhouse, probably the winningest stock engine in motorcycle history in production races around the world, is stronger than ever. It delivers more power with less stress, greater reliability with lower maintenance, 
the new set 1000 ST with shaft drive is the big bike you know you can live with for the long haul. You can take it on trust. Summer 1979, the German motorcycle magazine Motorrad compared the newest touring bikes on the market in order to find out which manufacturer offered the best touring motorcycle. The series consisted of two articles named the Shaft Drive Comparison, which included six touring bikes of the leading manufacturers at that time. The BMW R100T, the Honda 1000 GL Goldwing, the Moto Guzzi 1000 G5, the Suzuki GS850, the Yamaha 750 and the Kawasaki Z1000 ST. A lot of interesting data had been compiled during this test. The Kawasaki, for example, was louder than all its competitors with 105 dBA at 6000 RPM, measured in a near-field noise emission test. Besides the ST, only the BMW and the Yamaha were able to cross the 100 dBA line. During the first part of the test, the Kawasaki managed to beat its opponents in the categories acceleration and top speed. After the second part of the test, which mainly focused on the suspension and brakes of the bikes, the Kawasaki finished in first place, followed by the Suzuki and the BMW. The rating of the other bikes did not come even close to the ones of the three motorcycles on the podium. Kawasaki used the result of the comparison in its marketing followed up with a print advertisement published in the magazine Motorrad issue number 18, 1979. The advertisement showed a picture of the Z1000 ST on a winner's podium, which was published under the headline Winning is beautiful time and time again. The full text read, in Motorrad issue 15 and 16, the great shaft drive touring bikes faced an exciting comparative test. We are not surprised that the Kava Z1000 ST is leading not only in the overall ranking, but in almost all individual disciplines. Kavas are built to be the best. Our best wishes to all the losers as well. My father owns this motorcycle as long as I'm able to think back to my childhood. That is probably why, in my opinion, a beautiful motorcycle should have a similar look like the ST. A huge four-cylinder engine, a round headlight, an edgy tank. It is a reliable machine that allows you to travel huge distances comfortably and still is agile and powerful enough for a quick sprint on all kinds of roads. I was riding this bike a lot when I was 20 years old and I still like riding it today because it makes me think back to these days. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and a comment below.